Welcome to this week's Joe Cooks. This week I thought we'd have another go to cake following the success of the Out for Cake video. So I'd like to thank everyone who's watched that video. Welcome to the new subscribers and that. And yeah, this week I thought we'd have a go at Millionaire Shortbread. It's a three stage bake, really easy. Seven ingredients, takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it, it's worth it. It doubles up as a good present for Christmas if, you, if you're a bit skint like me and that. Chop it up, put it in little gift boxes and that. Perfect, perfect. Nothing says Christmas like a homemade present. You don't need to be spending a fortune in these supermarkets and that. So yeah, we'll have a quick run through the ingredients. We'll get set up properly and we'll start cracking on. Right, I've got the ingredients laid out in front of us. We'll go through them stage by stage. Really easy, really easy. So for the shortbread, we'll be using 250 grams of plain flour, which I'll be sieving into a big bowl. 175 grams of low-fat spread. You can use butter, use whatever you want as long as it's suitable for baking. 75 grams of caster sugar. This is just normal table sugar that I've blasted in a little blender. Just saves us a bit of money from buying caster sugar, because that's all it is really. For the caramel sauce or the toffee filling, 100 grams of brown sugar, that's soft dark brown sugar, 100 grams of the low fat spread again, a tin of condensed milk, I think these are about 400 grams, 397 grams, that's fine, all like about the standard size I think. And for the chocolate top, just a couple of bags of chocolate chips or a couple of bars of chocolate, whatever you, whatever you can get your hands on. Be listed in the description as normal and that. We'll start with the shortbread. What we want to do is preheat your oven to 180 degrees. You can get that on now while we're making the shortbread and it'll be hot for when the shortbread's ready to go in. We're just going to prepare a tin. This is a 20 centimetre baking tin with high sides. The high sided one's good. You can use any you want, but it's got to be deep. Got to be deep. And I'm just, I've lined the bottom with parchment paper. And I'm just going to give the sides a nice little spray of fry light. This just helps it come out easier at the other end. I haven't made this for years, you know, years and years, so the potential for this one going wrong is high. So I'm just going to set that one aside and I'm going to bring in my bowl. And basically, we're just going to pile all the ingredients into the bowl. We're going to sieve in with flour. We're going to go in with our butter, just get it piled in, and we're going to go in with our sugar. With the three ingredients in the bowl, we're just going to take our food mixer. I recommend you get one of these if you can, only like a tenner and that, and it'll save you a hell of a lot of time. We're going to mix it to a breadcrumb consistency. You'll see when it happens, it's a bit loud, so I'll put it on silent or transition and that. It takes about three minutes. So we'll do that now. And there we have it. Bread come consistency. It's nice and soft. I'll get rid of the mixer because we don't need this anymore. And you can now, if you want, knead it into a bowl. Or you can do what I do. What I do, it can sometimes come out a bit crumbly, but I find it a lot easier. I'm just going to tip this into the tray. Then I'm going to push it down with my fingers instead of kneading it. I, just, I find I just get it a, a lot evener. A lot, a lot evener. What kind of word is that? A lot more even. Like that. Instead of trying to push it out from a ball. It's, it's quite tough to push it out from a ball. And I'm just going to ram it down with my fingers. I'm going to press quite hard because I want to firm it up. I don't want it to be too crumbly in that. Yeah, just press it down, press it down. Just as good as needing it, this. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone who's um, been watching that food video, that food kick video. Wasn't expecting it. it was, um, give us a little lift, to be honest with you, because I've been cracking on with like 25 views a week for months, months and months. I'm not in it for the big time, I'm just in it. To promote a bit of home cooking and that. I think everyone should be cooking themselves. Not relying on like ready meals and stuff like that. 
I know sometimes they're a bit cheaper and they're a bit more convenient, but really, all you're paying for is someone else to do the hard work for you, you know. Get in the kitchen. Like I say, it's a Saturday morning today. It's raining, it's cold, it's winter. It's crap, basically, it's crap. So I'll just get in the kitchen, do a few hours cooking. It's great. Right, I'm going to put this in an oven now, 180. And that's going to go in for 20 minutes, round about. I nearly forgot one thing. Right, once it's firmed down like that, you'll feel it because there'll be no more crumbs coming off of your hand. It'll be like little lumps like that. I'm just going to go around with a fork and I'm just going to pierce it. This will just stop it lifting. Any steam that, that's involved in the cooking process will escape. And yeah, it's great. This is going to go in the oven now. 180 for about 20 minutes till it's nice and firm in that. And while that's baking, I'll have a quick clean up. We'll move over and we'll do the caramel sauce. Right, we're going to move on to the second stage now. The caramel filling. This can be the trickiest stage of the, of the whole cook. But it's not too bad, it's not too bad. The shortbread's in the oven now, it's got about five minutes to go. And while that's happening, what we're going to do in a saucepan, we're just going to put with three ingredients. For this, I'll be using a pan and I'll be using a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon works great. So we'll put the sugar in. We'll put the margarine in, or the soft spread, whatever, whatever you're using. We'll put in the tin of condensed milk. And the key here is just to let it melt nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. So while this is happening, we can take the shortbread out of the oven and we can put it somewhere to cool on that. I'm trying to get as much of this out as I can. Waste not, what not. That'll do for me. Yeah, we'll give it a good stirring. We'll just let it melt gently. It's all in it. It's all in the boiling action, this caramel fudge malarkey and that. Really, I should have a, um, a sugar thermometer or a jam thermometer. But because we're not making fudge or toffee or anything, we should get away with it. We should get away with it. Like I say, I haven't made this for years and years, so um, the potential for it going wrong is up there. Is up there. But if I can do it, you can do it. That's the whole thing. Don't be put off just because it looks a bit complicated and that. Just have a go, man. Have a go. I love it. I love it. Right. We'll let this warm through gently. Like I say, I've got it on number two. So it's just going to It's just gonna melt nice. And once everything's combined, we'll whack up the heat. And we'll do the tricky bit. But in the meantime, we'll take the shortbread out. We'll put it somewhere nice and cool to, to, to cool down. Wow, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful, that. Beautiful. It's nice and firm. It's a bit springy because it's still hot. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this by an open window. I'm just going to open the window a crack. And I'll just let it cool itself down. Right, well, we'll make the caramel sauce. You can turn your oven off now. We don't need the oven anymore. That's finished with. This is starting to combine nicely, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to gently turn up the heat. I'm on number two now, I'm going to cook to number four, then I'm going to start bringing it to a boil. And we're going to hold it at a boil for about a minute or two, then we're going to put it on top of a shortbread. So, again, I'll probably transition this, because you don't really want to be seeing a um, syrup warm up. Not the most exciting thing in the world to watch. But yeah, see you in a couple of minutes. Right, this caramel's just starting to boil now. You can see it's starting to bubble. This is the important bit. We've got to keep it moving now. Keep it moving. Don't let it burn. You can peel it away from the sides like that. But we're going to let it boil. We're going to let it boil for about two minutes. Then we're going to take it off the heat. It's mad this millionaire shortbread because do you not think it looks like a Twix? I think it does like. I think either a Twix. There's a posh millionaire shortbread, or millionaire shortbread's a posh Twix. Either way, they're both the same thing, I think. Like This is coming up nicely. What I'll do is I'll bring in my shortbread again. 
my base that's done nice that's firmed up the treat now that's firmed up the treat we'll just keep this just keep this moving but yeah tell us in the comments if you um what you want us to what you want us to have a go at i'll have a go at absolutely anything you know anything and sometimes it's pretty tricky coming up with ideas because I eat pretty boring to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm usually really healthy eating, but I do like a cake. Everyone likes a cake. Who doesn't like a cake? You know what I mean? Statistics don't lie. I've done a healthy meal. I've got about 20 views. I've done a cake. Got 300 views. There you go. You know what I mean? Anyway, at this stage, we're going to lift it off the heat and we're going to pour it into a, a tray. Really simple, really simple. And this is where the patience begins. So we'll just pour this in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Don't need to go to the shop and buy one. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. Satisfaction from making that is immense. But we'll just let it pour out. This will be very hot. So don't be sticking your fingers and that in it. But we'll just roll it out. It'll find its own level. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what we're going to do, this is where the patience comes in. I'm going to let this set off at room temperature for a couple of hours. Then we might firm it up in the fridge. But don't put anything hot in a fridge. Don't be tempted to put this in the fridge because it will wreck your fridge. It might be an old wife's tale that I've heard that, but I don't know. So just don't bother. I don't want to be responsible for broken fridges. But yeah, we'll let this cool down. I'm going to leave it basically all day to cool down. I'm going to go out and do me things and that, come back. And yeah, we'll put the chocolate on. We'll finish this one up. Right, it's been about four hours for me. About 20 seconds for you. Let's have a look what we've got. Look at this. Check this out. What a beauty. Right, the fudge or the toffee centre is set nicely. Still a little bit tacky, but that's fine, that's fine. I left it out at room temperature for about three hours and I chilled it in the fridge for the last hour. What we're going to do, I'm just going to roll my sleeves up a little bit. I'm going to just run a fork across the top of the fudge a bit. Doesn't have to be neat. Just anywhere, just so the chocolate's got something to grip a hold of. Then it won't separate. But yeah, I've been doing my, um, my second hobby, looking around the charity shops. I love going around the charity shops, you know. My flat's built on stuff from charity shops. We're well, quite lucky. Can anyone remember the dusty bin? I got a dusty bin. I think I got it from the, um, the Butterfly Hospice shop. It was only a couple of quid, I couldn't resist it, so... Yeah, that'll go on my sideboard. Bit of useless task. Anyway, we'll move over, we'll start the chocolate, and we'll, we'll crack on. Right, for the chocolate, what we want to do is get a pan on the boil. I've boiled this up once, and we're going to put, it's about half full of water, it's, we're just boiling, and we're going to put a bowl in. I'm doing this, melting this chocolate old school style, the tuny style, I know, really, to be honest. But, we're going to just tip the chocolate chips in. They won't take long to melt. We want to do it quite slowly. So I'll probably turn it down a little bit, stop it raging, because it will push the ball off. We'll go in with a second bag. And it's just a case of letting it melt. So we'll just keep stirring it until they. Um, it's done, just keep tilting it every now and again, let the pressure out. Just slowly melt the chocolate. Again, I'll speed this up. And then um, we'll see it as we're pouring the chocolate onto a cake. Very steamy today, <laughs> very steamy. Whoa. Right, the chocolate's melted nicely now. That took about five or six minutes. I'm going to take it off the boil. Now I'm just going to move the pan because we're, we're finished with that. I'll turn that off. I'm working pretty quickly. We're just going to pour it in, in, on the top of a 
millionaire shortbread. Hopefully I've done enough chocolate. I sort of guessed it, to be honest with you. In fact, I guessed, I guessed all the ingredients. But it's good, it's good. We'll get as much out as we can. Hey. Fit in the bowl for the chef. We just want to spread it out. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Try and cover the whole lot. We can bang it a bit and, roll it and tilt it a bit. That'll help. We're just looking for a nice even coat of chocolate. You can do this with a spatula, you can do it with the back of a spoon. I might swap to a spoon to finish it to finish it off completely because this spatula is not too flexible. But we've just got to keep working it. Like I say, I'm not a chef, so um, if it looks a bit tacky then, it's fine. But it's got a homemade feel about it, so it's all right. It's all right. No one's going to come round here and tell us off for putting a shoddy chocolate coating on me millionaire shortbread. I'm waffling now just to um, fill in some time. Right. That'll do us for that. Look at that. Hey, you know what's happening with that later, don't you? I'm just going to get it a spoon and I'm just going to smooth it off a bit better. Just make it a bit neater, a bit neater. And what I'm going to do with this now, I'm going to let it set again, room temperature for about an hour, maybe a bit longer. Then I'm going to set, put it in the fridge for half an hour. If you put it straight in the fridge now, the chocolate will set, but it's got more chance of cracking in that. So just let it calm down slowly. We'll come back in an hour or so. We'll get it out. We'll have a look what we've made and we'll bring this one in. Right? It's been up. about an hour and 10, an hour and 15 minutes. Let's have a look at this. Wow, look at that beauty. Look at that. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching, you know. And um, welcome to the new subscribers. I think there's seven of you, seven new ones. 20 in total, so welcome to you as all. What I'm going to do now is run a knife just around the edge, just to free, just to free it up a little bit. Oh, I can feel it, it's nice and, it's lush, it's lush. I can feel it just by cutting it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell us in the comments what you would like to make in that. Or give us some suggestions. Um. I see this makes the perfect present if you if you're a bit skint in that. Just give it a go. Or cook anything you want. Cook anything you want. Just get in your kitchen and have a have a try. Have a try. It's you'll surprise yourself because it's not as complicated as it as they make it out to be. But right. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna use a can and I'm gonna put it in the middle. And hopefully this will come out in one. Ready? Here we go, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Do you want it to fall? But look at that. Look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty. I hope you can see that on camera. Probably. We'll get it down. And we'll cut it up. Right, let's get this bad boy cut open. I've aimed to get 18. But my cutting isn't perfect, so we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. I'm only going to cut one or two pieces out just for the demonstration. But look at that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And if I go there, maybe. Yeah, we might not get 18. We'll count them at the end, we'll count them at the end. Right. And we'll go down here again. 16. That's what we're going to get, 16. Relatively even. Have to be perfect, you know. But look at this, can't wait to get stuck into this, you know. Go down the middle again. It's cutting up a treat. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. Fill in your comments and that, do the youtube -y stuff. Get inspired, get in your kitchens. See what you come up with. And um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Look at that. 
Look at that. Let's just chop it. The top is still a bit. Okay. Look at that. Perfectly cooked base. Nice layer of toffee. Nice layer of chocolate. Absolutely fantastic. We'll get a couple out. Just have a look. And yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. And I'm going to have a little taste. A little taste. Just to see what it's like. Look at that. Look at that. Soft fudge. Crumbly biscuit. Crispy chocolate. What more do you want? It's that nice. I can barely talk. It's all right. Be kind. Stay safe. I'll see you on next week's video. Thank you very much.